If your images are too big, they can slow down your website, and nobody likes a slow website. Not only is it annoying for your visitors, but it can even hurt your search engine rankings. Luckily, there are free online tools that can help you resize and compress your pictures without losing quality. I'll show you how to use them in this tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, we are gonna start off at finding an image. And I'm starting here for an important reason because when you pick an image, you might feel like, well, when I download, when I find a stock photo I really like and I download it, I'll just download the small version and then I'll have to do less work compressing it. And that isn't a terrible way to think of things, but it is a little short-sighted because when you find a stock photo that you really love, you might wanna use it for other things in your business. And especially if you might wanna use them for print, you're gonna to wanna to use a bigger size. So what I always do is I download a larger size photo and then I store that large photo um, in my files in like a raw folder that holds all of my original stock photography. And then I will make a copy of it that is reduced. So I still have that original file that's super high quality that I can use for high resolution stuff later on. So with that being said, this little guy is super adorable. So I'm gonna download him and I'm gonna download the large version of him. After that's done, let's go ahead and peek into our uh, downloads folder. And I wanna show you guys the size of this, what we're starting out with, okay? So if we right click on this file and go to properties, we can see that this is 762 kilobytes. So after we're done with this tutorial, we're gonna check again on the new file and see the size difference. Let's also rename this just so we can see easily what we're doing. Okay, so we have this cute puppy photo uh, downloaded and it looks like that. The quality is great. This is 50%, so let's look even at 100%. We can zoom in that much, great quality. Um, but we don't need it this huge for our website. This is way, way just unnecessarily large. So the first thing we're gonna do is resize it. And I like to use Canva for this. So let me show you how to do that with Canva. All right, go ahead and sign into your Canva account. And I am working from a free account. So that's what I'm gonna show you from. Now there are different resizing options that you can't get on a free account. But for this tutorial, you don't need them. Um, there is value in the pro version of Canva. If you are not a graphic designer and you don't have budget for a graphic designer and you own a small business, I would definitely suggest investing in that. But we're doing free in this tutorial, so we're gonna stick with the free version. So after you sign in, click create a design and then choose custom size. And now here you're gonna pick the size that you want it for on your website. Now I've got a couple tips for you guys here when you're figuring out the custom size as somebody that's worked with websites and website images for so long. Now you can make it exactly the size that you want it to be when it shows up on your website. But the thing about websites is that modern websites are responsive and they change size depending on the screen size. So your pictures will change size also. So with that being said, you wanna think about the largest the picture is going to be depending on how your website responsively changes its layout. And you wanna keep in mind here that we're doing a balance here when we are optimizing these images, that we want them smaller, but also we still want your website to look good, right? So if you have to go a couple pixels larger with the size here, it's totally fine. With that being said, if you're doing a background image, especially if the background image is going to have an overlay, the quality isn't that important because it's it's more decorative than something to focus on. So with that being said, I'm gonna pretend my cute little puppy is just gonna be a random picture of a cute little puppy that's in the content of maybe a website about how cute dogs are. So I'm gonna put the width at 800. I think usually 800 is the lowest I do for images that are gonna be in content. And for the height, I'm gonna put maybe like 600. And you can go ahead and do the math and do it proportionally with the size of your picture. But I'm, I'm just gonna guess something. And uh, websites are made with pixels. Those are the little dots that you would see if you zoomed in real close on your computer screen. It looks like you can change them to other things, but these are more for print. So just stick to pixels and then click create new design. Now we wanna upload our new puppy dog picture. So click uploads. 
and then click upload files and then pick the cute puppy and then click open. And we're gonna give that little guy some time to upload. It is taking a while because it is a larger file. And then when that's done, you can just drag him in. If you notice, if you drag in the middle, Canva will fit him to screen, but if you kind of go on the, on the edges, it will fill up the whole thing. And there's our little guy resized into 800 by 600. Now, if this position isn't exactly right, you can um, move him around by clicking him, and then you can make it bigger by dragging the edges. So if you wanted him kind of on the side, you could do that and then drag the edges to make him fill up the whole image. After you're done positioning everything how you want it to be, click share and then click download. Now I'm gonna very quickly talk about if you should do a JPEG or a PNG. And to not go into too much detail, uh, JPEGs are for photos, PNGs are for like cartoons, illustrations, stuff with not a lot of detail, not a lot of colors. Those are good for PNGs. And if you wanna do a transparent background, you also wanna do a PNG, but that is only for Canva Pro. So for this guy, we are going to do a JPEG and then we're gonna click download. Once that's done, we can open up our download folder. And now we see we have cute puppy and untitled design. Let's change this to resized cute puppy. And then if we right click and we go to properties, we can see that we brought this down from 762 kilobytes to 57.4 kilobytes, which is very good already. So let's take a look at him and check out the quality. Let's take a look here. And he still looks great. So let's go ahead and, and do a little more, see if we could save some more space. So head on over to tinyjpg.com. There's a link in my description. And what we're going to do here is we're going to drag the puppy photo, the resized puppy photo onto this website and it's going to automatically compress it. There is a tiny PNG website also that looks almost exactly the same, but I, you can throw either files on either website. So here we go. Here's our download folder and we're going to make sure you take the resized photo, not the original photo, and drag it onto the site and it looks like it saved us an extra 10%. So we're gonna click download all, pop back to our download folder, and it looks like it put it in a, a zipped file. So let's go ahead and unzip that real quick. Extract all, extract. Okay, and now this is, now this is not just cute resized puppy, this is a resized cute puppy. It is resized and compressed cute puppy. And if we right click and go to properties, we can see that it is down to 51.7 kilobytes. And now if we open that up and take a look at it, we can see that he still looks great. It's, it's barely a difference from the resized one. So that's fantastic. And it is also a huge improvement to go down from 762 kilobytes to 51.7 kilobytes. And there you go. Now you have a smaller sized compressed image for your website without losing any quality. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure you check my description for a free nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It'll walk you through everything you need to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching.